Hello everyone, I'm Kang Mok Lim. Today I'm going to introduce our work SICO, the first framework enabling concurrent training jobs with dynamic and efficient GPU memory sharing. This is the work done with Chung Sop Ad at Azure University, Wen Chung Xiao at Alibaba Group, Yongjin Kwon at Kaist, and Myungjae Chun at UNIST. Deep Your Network is widely adapted and becoming one of the most dominant workload. DNA workload is run on hardware accelerators such as GPU. By pre previous work, it is already known that some DNA models underutilize GPU compute resource. For instance, it is reported that Microsoft production GPU cluster Philly has only 65% GPU compute utilization for DNA training job using one GPU. Also, as you can see in the right chart, some models show low GPU utilization during training, ranging from 8% to 66%. Low GPU utilization issue is critical since GPU becomes one of the most contented resource in cluster system. Special sharing for GPU has been already proposed to resolve low GPU compute utilization problem by concurrently running multiple jobs. However, Existing special sharing doesn't share the memory across concurrent jobs, but rather statically partition the memory and allocate to each job. Hence, if total memory consumption exceeds GPU memory capacity, the system will crash with out of memory or hurt the throughput significantly, swapping the data between CPU and GPU back and forth. However, training job doesn't fully utilize the memory it exposes cyclic memory usage pattern composed by two phases, allocation phase during forward pass and the allocation phase during backward pass. This up and down shape of memory pattern appears because output of forward pass, so-called feature map, are required by gradient calculation in the backward pass. This is the common process of training workload. Hence, we can find all models form the shape of memory pattern during training iteration. Based on this unique characteristic, we spot the opportunity overcoming the weakness of previous GPU sharing technique. The basic idea of Zico is overlapping the deallocation phase and the allocation phase of concurrent training jobs and dynamically share the memory so that it, can could, it could reduce the system-wide memory footprint. Now, I will tell you how Zico achieves it. In this slide, I will show the workflow of Zico. Zico has two parts. One is memory manager, and the other is a scheduler named Scrooge. Memory manager facilitate dynamic memory sharing between concurrent training jobs for a shared memory pool. Scrooge scheduler monitors memory usage pattern of respective job and coordinate them to properly and safely overlap allocation phase and deallocation phase. In this talk, I'm going to explain two key contributions of SICO. First one is safe and efficient memory management for GPU sharing. Memory manager in SICO handles asynchrony between CPU and GPU for a safe memory deallocation and prevent all the allocation problem throughout in-flight corner control. Second one is memory-aware scheduling, which minimize time delay and maximize the throughput. And we make it widely applicable to both train the same jobs and train the non-identical jobs. Now, let's start by describing how CPU and GPU are working together. CPU is the one who issues the GPU color to GPU, but that's it. CPU has no clue whether some specific GPU kernel is being executed or completed. This is because GPU kernel doesn't return any notification back to CPU. CPU has to recognize when each GPU kernel is completed to safely reclaim the unused memory and make them available for other job. Widely used solution is inserting CUDA event between GPU kernels and 
Zico also adopts the same solution. CUDA event returned the notification back to CPU. Therefore, we can recognize the kernel completion. After receiving the CUDA event notification, then we can safely release the memory related to the kernel. We saw how safe and correct the allocation is achieved. However, this on-time deallocation incurs subsequent issue of early allocation. If CPU kernel run speed is faster than GPU execution speed, it will pre-allocate the memory for the kernels which have been already launched by CPU but have not started its execution by GPU yet. In the end, it will increase the memory consumption unnecessarily by early allocation. To mitigate this problem, Memory Manager in Zico simply controls the number of in-flight kernels so that early allocation could be prevented. Now, I'm going to explain the second contribution, Scrooge Scheduler, which minimizes the time delay. To achieve it, we need sophisticated scheduling policy aware of memory, memory usage pattern. To make this point concrete, let's consider this simple scheduling policy. The simple scheduling policy could be aligning the four path starting point of one job with the backward path starting point of the other job. Anyway, it seems to achieve our main goal, which is overlapping allocation phase and deallocation phase and sharing the memory. However, it could fail to prevent memory of or over subscription. Let me give you an example. Let's take a look at an identical jobs collocation case. Example workload has longer backward pass than uh, has longer backward pass than forward pass. In this case, knife scheduling will, will exceed the GP memory at the red circle point and oversubscribe the memory and leading to the significant performance degradation. To prevent the memory oversubscription, proper coordination must make the overlap area smaller so that total memory consumption could be less than GPU memory. Now let me take a step-by-step step to show how screw scheduler achieves better and more sophisticated scheduling. Time on X axis, and GPU memory usage on Y axis. We have GPU memory and the green bar shows current time, then the right part will be the future. There are two identical jobs which will be collocated and each job has the same memory pattern as the previous one. In the current situation, job A is ongoing and screws need to decide whether it will schedule, it will initiate the four paths of job B or delay. To do it, first, Scrooge predict the future memory usage pattern of each job. Based on predicted future memory pattern, it evaluate whether scheduling job B at the current time will make the memory oversubscribed in the future or not. In this case, Scrooge forecast it will oversubscribe the memory in the future, so we delay it. After time delay, Scrooge does the same scheduling proce decision process for job B. Again, Scrooge predicts it will oversubscribe, oversubscribe the memory, so it delays job B for pass again. After all, Scrooge will find the point where it minimizes the time delay and at the same time where it will not incur memory or subscription in the future. Then it will schedule job B by initiating its new iteration. The same process will repeat to schedule four paths of job A when it finishes current iteration. Now let's see evaluation. We use two GP machines and six benchmarks. 
there are two comparison points. One is ideal temporary sharing with no job switching overhead. There is NVIDIA, and the other is NVIDIA MPS, which is representative special sharing, having no dynamic memory sharing technique. For implementation, we adopt TensorFlow as our base framework. Now, let me show the throughput comparison for identical model collocation. We measure the throughput over different batch size on y-x axis. Compared to temporal, GCO achieves up to 1.6 times higher throughput and 1.2 times higher throughput on average. Compared to special sharing MPS, Zico shows the similar average throughput when MPS doesn't oversubscribe the memory. And when MPS oversubscribes the memory, Zico shows 4.7 times higher throughput on average. In this talk, I will take two models out of six in detail. Batch size on X axis and throughput on Y axis. So higher, better. There is ideal temperature sharing. And here's the Zico. We can find that Zico always outperforms the temperature sharing across all batch sizes. This is because temperature sharing runs only one job at a time. Oftentimes, it couldn't fully utilize the GPU core. On the other hand, Zico shows higher throughput by concurrent run. Compared to MPS, Zico shows similar throughput number under mother batch size. However, when batch size becomes larger and MPS is not able to collocate jobs inside GPU memory, then it experiences significant performance degradation. However, Zico still successfully collocate them under memory budget. Let's go to the throughput in training non-identical jobs. For this experiment, we have various sharing combinations in terms of different memory requirements and diff different GPU core utilization. On average, GPU Zico shows 1.3 times higher throughput compared to temporal sharing and 5.8 times higher throughput compared to MPS. Let me highlight two sharing cases in this talk. In the first case, NASNet, which has high GPU utilization, and GNMT, which has a relatively low GPU utilization, are collocated. Due to low GPU utilization model GNMT, GPU has more ample compute cycle, and it leads to higher throughput gain. In the second case, both NASNet and ResNet 110 have high GPU utilization. Zico consistently show higher throughput, but the gain is relatively small compared to the first case. This is because there's less room in the GPU core. Let's see MPS. We set the batch size that MPS exceeds the GPU memory. Compared to MPS, Zico has 5.5 times and 7.5 times higher throughput respectively. This is the same result as we saw from identical job collocation. MPS easily exceeds the GP memory because they don't have memory sharing technique and result in significant throughput degradation. Here is the two example of actual scheduling result showing how flexible GCO is. In the first example, two BART model are collocated. And you can find that thanks to time delay, Scrooge, it can su successfully packed within GPU memory. In the second example, NASNet and ResNet 110 are collocated. Scrooge scheduler successfully co-schedules them without oversubscription, and more interestingly, with different scheduling ratio. ResNet 110 are scheduled two times at the front part of, and at the end part of NASNet iteration, where NASNet has low, G, low memory consumption. And it avoids the middle part 
where NASNet has higher memory consumption. In summary, Zico is the first introducing memory aware scheduler, facilitating dynamic memory sharing between the concurrent DNA training job. Zico proposed widely applicable GPU sharing technique for training. Thank you for listening.